Okay, Brother Davis, why don't you go out of here? Okay. Well, I hope everybody had a blessed day today. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord God, for each day that you give us, Father. We thank you for this prayer line, Father. We thank you for the scriptures that have already been read. We pray that it has encouraged our hearts, Lord. And Father, as, as we uh, uh, listen to this reading tonight, Lord, we just ask that, you know, it touches our hearts that we might want to search more and more of the scriptures. So, Father, we thank you, we bless you, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight is a reading about uh, what does it mean, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Okay. That the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's brought to fullness when we accept his provision of righteousness by grace that reunites us so we can enjoy his presence. The joy of the Lord is my strength, is a familiar line. There are numerous songs based on it. We use it to encourage ourselves and others. But what does it really mean? Where do we get it from? What is the joy of the Lord? What does the joy of the Lord do to provide strength? What is this strength that is that is talking about? Okay. The joy of the Lord is foundational in a relationship with God. Nehemiah chapter 8, the term the joy of the Lord is my strength, is found in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10. It's after the children of Israel return to Jerusalem from exile. They, they were they were listening uh, to the law being read. Were overcome with condemnation and were weeping. The scripture reads, Then Jeremiah the governor, Ezra the priest, uh, and teacher of the law, and the Levites uh, who were Instructing the people said to them all, This day is holy to the Lord, our God. Do not mourn or weep, for all the people have been weeping as they listened to the words of the law. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to the Lord. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. <clears throat> what is the joy of the Lord? When Ezra was reading the law to the people, it produced sorrow because their lives, their lives and behavior were not in alignment with the law, but instead of being uh, rebuked and condemned, they were instructed to celebrate because of the joy of the Lord. Why would the Lord have joy when they were a bunch of sinners? The children of Israel were never known for their perfect behavior. They were known for being the people of God. They, they were his. He loved them. His, peop his people had been separated from him in exile for years and were finally reunited 
to him. God, God had his, God had his beloved people back. Why would he not have joy? In Luke 15, Jesus tells three stories of things lost and then found. The sheep, the coin, and a son. All three ended with rejoicing when, when what was lost was found. God's joy is in the reconnecting and union. Some Bible verses. <clears throat> May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. That's Romans fifteen thirteen. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Philippians 4, 4. For the kingdom of God is not uh, a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, Romans 14, 17. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full, John 15, 11. How does how does joy of the Lord provide strength? The children of Israel mourned due to their failure to uphold the law. They felt hopelessly separated from God. But God is love, and the Bible tells us that love covers a multitude of sins. The joy of the Lord gives us strength to reach for God's provision of love and salvation. For the Lord uh, your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will claim all you, he will calm all your fears. He will re, rejoice over you with with joyful songs. That's uh, Zephaniah chapter three, verse seventeen. You may you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal presence at your right hand. Psalm 16, 11. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Isaiah 12, 3. What is this strength? The strength that God provides us with is his grace. To each one of us, grace has been given. Ephesians 4, 7. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us who belongs to uh, his dear son. Ephesians 1, 6. Because we feel connected to God and loved by him, it gives us the confidence and boldness to approach him to find grace to help in times of need. 
Hebrews 4, 16. And the grace that he provides is enough for everything in our lives. My grace is sufficient for you, but my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. What does this mean? The joy of the Lord is our strength. It's brought to fullness when we accept his provision for righteousness, grace that reunites us so we can enjoy his presence. Those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Romans 5, 17. You have made known to me path of life. You fill me with joy in your presence. That's Acts 2, 28. So when it's talking about the joy of the Lord is our, our strength, that meaning that we are dependent on God, we're receiving his grace, we're not comp complaining all the time, and we're just leaning on him. So that's about it that I have tonight, and I thank you for your time. Father God, we just thank you. We bless you once again for it being such a good and gracious God toward us. But Lord God, each and every day you provide us with our daily bread. So we just thank you, Lord God, for being our God and and thank you for so great a salvation that we have in your son, Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We continue to pray for um, our branch of Zion, Lord God. Pray for our pastor while he's vacationing, Lord. Pray that he will just relax and enjoy and and and, and, and strengthen his, his, his body, and not only his body, but also his soul and his spirit. So, Father, we do once again, we thank you, we bless him. We ask you to just return pastor and uh, first lady home safely. So we give you all the glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, thank you, Deacon Davis, for that word this evening. Thank you all the uh, mm -hmm. members of all online this, this evening. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow morning on the uh, uh, word with uh, Dr. J. At tomorrow morning, we'll continue to pray to Pastor we'll continue to enjoy his vacation. Good night, everyone, and God bless everyone. All right. All right. Thank you, Deacon Davis. All right, man. Take care. All right now.